Hello and welcome to this latest video by Cloudwoods.net. My name is Mauricio and over the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to choose the best VPN for you with just a few easy steps. Before I get to that though, please let me remind you of both the thumbs up button as well as that big bell right below this video in case you'd like to show your appreciation of this video and to get to watch more like it just when they come out. Now let's talk about how you can pick a good secure VPN. In case you don't know what a VPN is and why you need one, please let me refer you to the video about that or the general guide to the best VPN that I've linked in the description box below. However, for the purpose of this guide, I'm going to assume you know exactly what a VPN is and why you should get one. But how do you pick one that's good for you from among the dozens that advertise on Google and on the Play Store? Here, I've essentially put a list of seven criteria you may want to maintain. Let's take a look at all of them one by one. I'll also give you some suggestions for services that do especially well in this regard. The main function of a VPN is to keep you safe from snooping. So a service needs to have good security. Now, there isn't a VPN out there that doesn't advertise military grade security or some other nonsense like that, but that's easy to say and hard to verify. What you need is a VPN that uses a strong protocol. I'll link an article below that goes more in depth, but you want a VPN that defaults to OpenVPN at least. Good examples of this are ProtonVPN and VPN Area, as well as ExpressVPN and NordVPN. The second thing you want in a VPN is good privacy. Where security keeps you safe from outside snooping, a good privacy policy keeps you safe from snooping by the VPN itself. Most free VPNs, for example, will sell your data to make money, so whatever you do, read the privacy policy before signing up. Malvad, ExpressVPN, CyberGhost, and Private Internet Access all have great privacy policies in your favor. Now, VPNs aren't all stark security protocols and privacy guards. They're also good for entertainment. If you need a VPN that will get you into Netflix, Hulu, and whatever else, there are plenty to choose from. Our favorites for streaming are certainly ExpressVPN and NordVPN and CyberGhost, but Winscribe also does a fantastic job of unblocking these services. Next up is price. Good VPNs generally don't come for free, but you'll be happy to know that thanks to all the competition, they do come pretty cheap. Depending on how long you want to sign up, you can generally get a good VPN for about $40 to $50 per year. If that sounds good, check out NordVPN and CyberGhost for multi-year deals and Winscribe and Pia to go year to year. Also important is speed, especially if you're streaming. Thing is, Using a VPN means you're losing some of your unprotected speed and there's nothing that can be done against it. The best you can do is minimize the damage and in our tests, ExpressVPN, Pia and Astral always come out on top. Another way to maximize speed is to get a VPN with service close to you as well as one that has service in the countries you need. Not all VPNs have servers everywhere, so it pays to look at their server map before signing up. If spread throughout the world is important to you, the best services to check out first are Hide My Ass, ExpressVPN, and NordVPN. All the above won't matter much, of course, if the VPN you choose is hard to use. If you're not technically inclined or just don't wanna deal with any fuss, you want VPNs that are operated by essentially just pressing a button, maybe two buttons, and clearly laid out options. Our favorites in this department are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, ViperVPN, and Pia, so check them out if you just want to set it and forget it. With all these criteria in mind, it should be pretty easy to find the right service for you. I've linked to our VPN review overview below in case you want an easy to read list to help you make up your mind. The choosing is made a lot easier thanks to almost all VPNs having some kind of refund policy in place so you can browse and check different ones out without costing you a penny. Well, for our money, we've always been fans of NordVPN and ExpressVPN, though there are plenty of alternatives to choose 
and well, you can really, really dig in in our VPN list that I've linked down below. I hope I've been able to set you on the right path to choosing the best VPN for you and let us know if we missed anything vital in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much for watching and obviously see you next time.